Hi Cancer, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is going to be your weekly love reading for April 8th to the 12th. Please forgive me for being late with your reading. I will start with you guys first on this next round. So you and a few other signs from, uh, it's going to be for the 8th to the 12th and then we'll all play catch up for the 13th to the 17th with everybody else right after this round. We'll start back with you guys. All right, so um, let me light some incense and we'll get started. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 8th to the 12th. Now I'll tell you in, with full disclosure here, I did do your reading and I gave it a really good effort and I, it was a long reading, but I have to tell you the truth. It was so miserable. Okay. This reading that I was like, I'm going to alienate all the cancers from this just because it was such a, um, it felt like it was for one specific person and I was very busy. And at the time I was like, you know what? I don't want to put this out into the universe. So I just kept it to myself. I deleted it and I'm like, I'll do it later. And I also have a lot of things going on that I'm planning. So you guys will see in the next couple weeks. Let's get back to your reading here. This is for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 8th to the 12th. First card is you. Second, sorry, first card is situation. Second card is you. Third is what's around you. Fourth is outcome. And then the last is from the bottom of the deck, the underlying energy. So let's get started with your read here. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 8th to the 12th. Can we please get a positive reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 8th to the 12th, please? <clears throat> the first card is a situation. Okay, we got a side read here, three cards. This is a soulmate union, two of cups. As if that wasn't enough, we got the lovers to back that up. And then we've got the hierophant. And I have to tell you, this came out as well for the other reading. It was a relationship that went south for your last cancer reading that I deleted. But let's forget about that now. Scrub my brain clean. This is about a soulmate union. It's a love relationship. Something that you've learned from or something that will lead to marriage. Yeah, marriage. That's what I'm seeing here. A wonderful partnership. Two people with their cups in hand. Major Arcana's love and marriage. I see love and marriage. All right. On the bottom, Knight of Swords. Ooh. Okay, so there's a shady aspect here. Okay, so the Knight of Swords in love and romance is someone who's going after somebody for the challenge of it, for the props of it, for the kudos, for the achievement, for the, um, you know, attention they get for landing that big fish. Or being, sp or spying, okay? Collecting information. More ego-related than um, with the heart, but, but, this is a true love situation ending in marriage. So let's see where the reading goes, okay? They're just showing some characters in the story here right now. Okay, so this is for Cancer, Someone Rising in Venus. The first card is a situation, please. Can we please get a love reading for Cancer, Someone Rising in Venus for April 8th to the 12th. There we go. The star. And that popped up on its own. And inspiration, passion, virility, excitement. Now let's get a card representing you. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Side read here. It came out like this. Ten of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. I really don't want to take this away from you, but at the same time, I'm looking for one card, okay? So can we please get one card representing Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Can we please get one card representing Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You 
know what? I'm just going to give those cards back to you, okay? Because I saw what was on the bottom. I know how I'm going to do it. I don't want to uh, negate what Spirit is sending. Those two were there, and the Hermit was on the bottom. All right, so we'll keep it, okay? So I'm going to go like this. Usually I take a un pick one and then one from the bottom lately for you guys, but I guess this is what's going on here with this. <clears throat> All right. So this is what the situation is. This is you. This is what's surrounding you. Both underlying energy is the hermit, okay? Now, what is the outcome, please? Can you please get a card for the outcome for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm so happy that this is a positive read. That's why I like, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> for Cancer, someone rising over here. Can we please get an outcome? So far, everything's popped out. Can we get one more, please? For Cancer, someone rising in Venus. For April 8th to the 12th, what will the outcome be? Okay, I'm going to pick one. Whoa, side read here. That's a lot. King of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Hangman. Six of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Cups. Two of Cups. Page of Cups. King of Pentacles. Too much. Told a story, definitely. But it's too much. Okay. Let's get an outcome, please. Can you get one card for the outcome? And I'll take the bottom card for the underlying energy, please. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Can we get one card, please, for the outcome? Okay. Queen of Pentacles. And the underlying energy is the Fool. So I'm going to put that down here. Then we have Three of Cups celebrating. It's a good time. All right, the Star card is a major arcana and fool and hermit are major arcanas so the situation is divinely guided the star is about having faith and having somebody that you're kind of holding like both the hermit and the star has this element in love feeling like you're waiting for someone you you i have this energy feeling of you have been inspired. That's the underlying energy here. Someone who makes you excited about life, engaged about life, inspiring you. And I feel like it's long distance. I feel like it's someone that you have interest in and that you've been keeping tabs on. And you're waiting for the right time for things to come through here. Uh, the star card is about this wonderful, lovely energy of the starlit sky and someone having this very, having this very magical looking person, having faith that, you know, being divinely guided, that they have what it takes to make their dream come true. The star is not only about making a wish and then having that um, intuitive gut feeling that if you pursue it and you stay stick to your vision that you will achieve what you want and get what you want out of your love life or whoever it is that you're going after. Um, but it's also a card of someone who's very high profile, uh, someone who's got this magical quality to them that makes them stand out and shine, someone who stands out in the crowd, uh, not like the others, someone very inspiring that brings out the passion and joy of life in you. So I feel like the situation here is waiting for someone and waiting for that opportunity, having like a major crush or um, a love for someone or feeling like this hopeful wishing for somebody and you know who it is and someone who sparks this inspiration, passion and joy in you. It's like a major kind of crushing energy here. Uh, you, Ten of Cups, wow. Okay, so Ten of Cups is this happily ever after energy. You feel like 
this is your happily ever after like you've met somebody who completes you and that they are everything that you ever wanted and more in a person in a romantic partner ten of cups is about complete fulfillment in love the happy kids land um, two people who are deeply in love and if it's not that for you someone it's whatever is your happily ever after complete emotional fulfillment and joy not just within yourself but with others in your um, family in your love life in that way that it's complete everything is just wonderful and then around you you've got three of Pentacles And the Three of Pentacles in Love and Romance, sometimes it feels like it's a, a third-party situation. You might be waiting because maybe they're dating somebody else or they've got other people on their plate or maybe they've got more than one person on their plate. The Three of Pentacles in, in work is about success. You're on top. It's a very artistic card, um, very creative energy, a master of their craft. Getting uh, It's about working with others and collaboration. In love and romance, sometimes they can speak to being occupied with other people. Um, having a third party situation here. Now, the underlying energy is the hermit. So I feel like this is not you who's dating somebody else. Because I see the wishfulness of the star energy, the ten of cups, you thinking that they're your, like you, you're in love. You are in love. You think that they're everything. And right now, the Hermit card, again, is this like in love, this having your little candle there lit, being completely fine to be by yourself, solitary, because there's something that lights you up from inside, something very quiet that you have kept to yourself, that you think about, that you like to, you know, wait and wish and plan and just a watch and it's something very fulfilling to you that inspires you, a very quiet kind of love, very um, simple kind of personal thing to, that maybe other people don't know about this crush or this love. And the reason that nothing has happened so far maybe is because the Three of Pentacles surrounding you, you may be someone who's very busy with work. They might be someone who's very busy with other people in their love life. Now the outcome is Queen of Pentacles. Uh, it could be a Capricorn, but the Queen of Pentacles is someone who is a mother, very nurturing energy, a matriarch, very loyal, very strong, knows the value of herself, knows the value of everything around her in her kingdom. She knows how to maintain, she knows how to take care, she knows how to make things blossom and grow. She's like the earthly version of the Empress. She has a beautiful home. She has a beautiful garden. She enjoys all of these wonderful, beautiful things that life has to offer in the material world, whether that be making money, whether that be taking care of her children, whether that be um, taking care of a kingdom. The Queen of Pentacles has that strength, not afraid to work hard, um, earthy grounded energy very down to earth and cares about her roots her community and her tribe her background her culture all of those types of things now the underlying energy for her at this outcome here is this full energy it's a new beginning taking that leap of faith for some of you it might be letting them know how you feel it's a fresh clean start a new beginning so going from this hermit energy you found something that lit you up look that sparked your interest your passion and engaged you and now you're ready you got that inspiration now you're ready to jump forward into this new phase and the three of cups can speak to dating going back into the dating game here it's a very social card it could speak to a reunion with this person or maybe you've met them before but you haven't spoken you haven't you know, dated. Um, the Three of Cups is something that you're celebrating success. So it's a very happy energy, as is the Ten of Cups. It's like something, I feel like maybe something's coming through here where you know you're going to get to see this person again. 
and you're really excited. Um, let's see, under the sun, maybe in the summertime. This is ruled by Leo, could be in the summertime. But the sun is about joy, happiness, childbirth, um, seeing things clearly, clarity. So let's just leave it that those beautiful energies looks like cancer you are crushing and that this person is your everything and that there's going to be some kind of reunion here or getting to meet this person again you're just waiting though right now for that time it's a very inspired energy all right so let's get a wild Kuan Yin oracle card for cancer sun moon rising and venus for April 8th to the 12th. I'm so glad I didn't post that other reading for you guys. Because energies change all the time. And I didn't want to leave you with that muck for a week. Alright. Stop here. I love it. Alright. Harvest Mother watches over me. The inner world offers powerful healing energy, creating space to receive it with love, patience, acceptance, and willingness to hear, feel, and honor all messages from our inner world with wisdom. Allows this inner medicine to work its healing magic. Even if it seems unfathomable at an intellectual level, the inner world knows how to restore and heal every aspect of the soul. We just need to invite and allow it. Harvest Mother watches over me. Now, I have the larger deck to this with the guidebook, so I want to read you this because the summarized versions don't do it justice. Some cards, it, it's enough. Others, it is not. So let me just read it to you. And I won't read everything because it's quite a lot. So let me just read a little bit. This is the book by Atlanta Fairchild. Harvest Mother watches over me, number 89. Good, I found it right away. It says, I watch over you whilst you gaze within. For the time, see, gaze within, this is the hermit energy. For the time has come when you do best to gather your energy and direct it to your inner world. So much has been happening around you and within you, so much that it needs time and attention to be distilled, integrated, and digested. It will bring you greater peace and a sense of completion to do this now. It is time to harvest your emotional world to be ready to gain the rich wisdom of your experiences. Then you shall be ready for us to begin again for another chapter in your life journey. New beginning. Wiser, stronger, and ready together. Um, let's see here. It says, in a reading, a time of abundance is ahead of you and you are guided to become empty and ready to receive tune into yourself there's a rich healing energy inner energy that wants to help you now you must slow down and go within to access it you will enjoy this so why not give yourself permission to do it and uh, it says are you interested in doing a healing course or working with a healer or reading a healing book or working with your dreams dance therapy or meditation this will be good for you trust your instincts and intuition and allow yourself time and energy to explore your inner world Many wonderful things will open up for you as a result. You are being initiated into the feminine mysteries of intuition, inner vision, and the world of dreams, signs, and symbols. Your ability to read energy is increasing. As you reinforce your unconditionally loving connection to the Divine Mother each day with simple prayer, such as below, this can happen so easily, safely, and joyfully. All right. So that was very much this harvest coming in, abundance coming in, but also this kind of hermit introspective energy as well. All right. Let's pull an oracle card and from the top and the bottom from Gabrielle Bernstein's Miracles Now. Can we please get a card? And one from the top and one from the bottom for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 8th to the 12th. take this one and this says I pray before I pay and that's all about um, being before you decide to do something to kind of make sure it's spiritually and morally on the up and up before you have to pay for it through consequences of your actions all right happiness is a choice I make Beautiful. All right, now let's move on to the next. Let me just make sure you can see all this. 
Yes. All right. Now I'm going to pull a crystal healing card. Ooh, sunstone. <laughs> that was fast. Ruby. Okay, so sunstone is the one we're going to talk about. It says empowerment. Ruby shine is on the bottom. I'll just talk about it quickly. Um, just in summary, it's about if you've been playing it small, it's saying this is the time to shine like the ruby. Do it up big. That's what it's saying. All right. But let's do sunstone. Let's read about sunstone empowerment. Creams and oranges with tiny vibrant speckles, and it's related to the solar plexus chakra. The magic of sunstone is upon you today. Breathe in this powerful energy fill, filling every cell of your being. Um, it says a crystal meaning connects to the energy of the divine source of all things. Awaken self-empowerment, creating strength and courage, enhances leadership qualities and the ability to listen to your higher guidance. Dissolves frustration in your life, activates rebirth, facilitates transformation. So it says, um, you may have been feeling a lack of energy, direction, and clarity in your life, which can be a sign that you are giving over your power. It is now time to let go and heal whatever has held you back from embracing your full potential and power. If you've been sitting on the sidelines, it is now a perfect time to dance into your own light. You are encouraged to listen to your own intuition. And if you've been compromising yourself due to fear of others' rejections, you are being encouraged to stop any self-sabotaging behavior. It's time for you to speak up for what you believe in. And as you step further into your power, you will know exactly what to say and how to say it in a diplomatic and compassionate way. Know that you are a strong, empowered person and it's time to be seen and heard. It's like the Ruby Shine card, right? Work closely with Sunstone because this medicine will assist you greatly in dissolving any fears that may hold you back from truly awakening your personal powers. Um, allow you to shine, allowing you to shine in all your magnificence. Now for Ruby, I'll just... You know what, I'll just read Ruby quickly because it's such a positive card. And we'll put them together, underlying that. It says, Deep Shades of Red, and this is related to your sacral chakra. Um, dissolves deep trauma and grief within the body and allows you to love yourself through the challenges of life enhances passion in all areas of life deepens your central aspects of self allowing you to receive a flow of life force energy and creativity helps to recognize a source of inexplicable fear and anxiety so it says um you've attracted this card into your life today to remind you it's time to shine you are a beautiful loving shining light on this planet possessing deep love and wisdom to share with many if you've been feeling a little down on yourself, know that it is now time to put aside those negative thoughts and feelings and start believing that you are a beautiful beacon of light, here to shine your light on this world. Um, it says, you have been playing it small and hiding in the shadows for too long, and now it is your time to shine. Ruby gives you permission to shine your light out into the world and to know that you are amazing. All right, so that was Ruby. Now let's pull one beautiful Goddess Guidance Oracle card. This is from Doreen Virtue, called the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards. Can we please get a beautiful guide, Goddess to uh, give some guidance for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 8th to the 12th, please. Dear true love, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. And this is a third party situation, okay? Um, because we got the third party situation here with the three of pentacles around you. Someone who might be occupied with others. Guinevere, it's true love here, but it's also a situation where... She was involved in a love triangle herself between, I believe, Arthur and Lancelot. So we'll talk about it. On the bottom, we have Arakura blossoming. You are just getting started, so have patience with yourself and the process. Do not give up. 
All right. Thank you, goddesses. Now let's read about Guinevere real quick. And true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Message from Guinevere. Romance is not an un outmoded concept. Far from it. Romance is the time-honored precept of merging with the divine as it's manifest become as it's manifest within another human being. Romance is also playfulness, which heralds springtime, flowers, and new life. You needn't be in a partnership to evoke romance, however. You can manifest it for yourself through laughter, surrounding yourself with beauty, and indulging in luxurious treats. Romance is a life force of the universe and is a worthwhile goal indeed. Various meanings of this card. Your soulmate relationship has arrived or is soon arriving. There is renewed passion in an existing relationship. You're a very romantic person. Your romantic needs aren't being met and you must take steps to alleviate this. Now about Guinevere, here we'll get into the third party situation. Um, pronounced Guinev Guinevere. This Celtic triple goddess has ancient roots preceding Arthurian times when she was known as Guinevere. In her original form, her name meant White One or White Phantom. And she was a powerful goddess invoked for both fertility and as a bridge to take the dead to the afterlife plane. During the times of Avalon, Glastonbury, and King Arthur, she became Guinevere. To become king, Arthur had to merge with or marry Guinevere, the goddess who ruled over the land. And so Guinevere became the astonishingly beautiful Guinevere, the queen bride of the new King Arthur. Legend holds that her heart really belonged to Arthur's cousin, Lancelot, however. Today she helps us to ensure that we enter into partnership with our true love, and she assists in keeping that love alive. Thank you, Goddess Guinevere. So this is speaking to... Her helping you find your true love, which you've been hoping and wishing on. And around you, though, it's a third-party situation, um, being in love with two people. All right. Whether that be you, Cancer, or the other person. doesn't sound like you. I know you guys take love very seriously. So, oh, okay, that doesn't count. All right. Let's let's pull a Gateway Oracle card by Denise Lynn. This is for Cancer. Let's get some more clarity here. Can we pull a card for Cancer, Someone Rising in Venus for April 8th to the 12th, please? Just one card for Cancer, Someone Rising in Venus for April 8th to the 12th, please. Mending bridges. I heal rifts. I am a mender. Okay, I'm going to put this over here. On the bottom, embracing the future. I step into the future with an open heart. Yeah, and that's with this full energy as well. New beginning. Mending bridges. Let's read about that. Gateway Oracle cards. It really is about healing things with someone. I heal rifts. I'm a mender. Heal old wounds with respect to people and situations. Carefully do whatever you feel is necessary to make amends. You are a mender. Help others mend bridges in their lives. <clears throat> there are times to drop everything and leave. And there are also times to carefully mend bridges <clears throat> with people, situations, and places. This is one of those healing times. Maybe there is a wound inside of you that needs to be forgiven or accepted. Transform the inner grievance. Do it now, for you no longer need to carry it with you. Perhaps there is a person from your past with whom you should reconnect. You know what you need to do. Take action now. Questions to ask yourself. If there was an area of my life that needed mending, what might it be? What is the first step I need to take toward resolving a current rift I have with someone? Could this card represent something within myself that I need to give attention to or mend? All right. So let's separation. Spell out time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay. And on the bottom, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. But let's read about keeping a separation. <clears throat> could be temporary, could be permanent. 
Let's see where this goes. Separation. And the Romance Angels are helping you during this period of separation from your partner. This card comes to you as an indication of angelic support as you spend time away from each other. While you're apart, the angels can help you fill your hours with healthy activities, which will help your present or future relationships. This card may indicate a temporary period of aloneness, such as while your partner is traveling for business or a time in your life when you're single and preparing for your next relationship. It can also mean a marital separation or divorce. Call upon the angels for support and guidance during these transitions. They can help you discover the deep healing to be mined as you spend time alone which prepares you for the next part of your relationship journey. So it's speaking to possible separation, divorce, a temporary separation for work, if you're traveling, and also a period of generally just being alone and preparing for your next uh, relationship. So let's, this is Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. Let's pull one from the top and one from the bottom for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 8th to the 12th, please. Can we please get a card from the top and the bottom for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 8th to the 12th, please. Let me just... <clears throat> Take that. What do we get? Ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. And then the one on the bottom. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. And that's that star as well. That kind of wish on a star feeling, that dreaminess, that also, you know, hoping for something to come in the future in your love life. So let's read number 14 first, ask for help. It says, what is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. There is a multitude of support for you. You only need to be willing to ask for the help and you will receive it. Let go of fear and pride as they are not benefiting you and giving you what you desire. Number 40. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. <clears throat> Make sure you aren't dwelling on things that have passed and no longer exist. Everyone has a past that has helped to shape who they are. This history cannot be erased. Accept the past and look forward to a future. Set goals, dream big, and create together. By doing this, you will eliminate the prospect of visiting the past. Having a goal helps us to focus on what is important. All right. So for some, I feel like if we look at this whole picture, okay, it could be energy here right now. It's a period of being solo for you, but definitely there's somebody who has you, you know, completely in love and you feel like they're your happily ever after. Surrounding this issue, there is a third party situation. And we see that with Guinevere as well, with her marriage to um, Arthur and then her love for Lancelot, this triangle here love triangle, this third party situation. The outcome is, you know, this married woman with the queen of, she's very married and matriarchal and very mothering energy here with the queen of pentacles and having responsibilities for um, your family, your community, your culture, those things coming first for the queen of pentacles. And then a fresh clean start, wanting to do it again, wanting to start again, whether it be with someone new or starting fresh. But I feel like it's the same person because it's about mending bridges, a temporary separation, third party situation that got in the way. Ask for help if you need it. And it's saying um, dream big and create together. Okay. And to release the past. Three of Cups is celebrating success as the underlying energy. I feel like there's some kind of, you know, hopefulness to make this work to shine together, to be empowered, and to heal and move on, move forward toward a better future of happily ever after. You feel like you want to commit to this. And I feel like the other person is, is willing to commit as well. Alright, so that was your reading cancer for April 8th to the 12th. 
please check out your monthly. I'll have those linked. And uh, I will have your next week's reading um, up in the same kind of order. You know, whoever was last right now, which is you and like four other signs, you guys will be first for the next round, which will be up in the next, probably tomorrow or the day after. All right, until next time, take care. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.